Today we're going to talk about how to install Drupal 8 using Acquia Dev Desktop. Acquia Dev Desktop is a tool provided by Acquia, and you can download it from acquia.com slash downloads. That's A-C-Q-U-I-A. So once you've downloaded the program, you can install it as normal on your computer and then open up the program, which will take you to this uh, Dev Desktop control panel. The first time you open it up, you'll get three options. You can start from scratch, which means creating a brand new site. You can start with an existing Drupal site if you already have some files set up. Maybe you have a site online that you've downloaded to your computer. Or finally, if you're using Acquia Hosting, you can choose the third option to integrate your local environment with Acquia Cloud. So for today, we're gonna to pick the first option to start from scratch. And if you want, you can uh, check off this checkbox down here so that next time you open up the program, it won't give you these options. It'll just show you the sites that you already have installed. So I'm going to select start from scratch, and that's going to take me to a list of sites. Uh, so this is actually a list of versions of Drupal that I can start with. I can either start with a plain vanilla version of Drupal or a distribution that already has some modules, functionality, configuration for me out of the box. So I want to use Drupal 8, which is the most recent version of Drupal, and that's the second option here. Lightning, the first option, is a, is a distribution, and then further down there's other uh, versions of uh, Drupal, which are all based on Drupal 7. So I'm going to go to the second option and click Install. Uh, this takes me to some options that I have for my new site. I can pick the name of the site and uh, I, that's going to update the URL where I access the site. So I could change this, for example, to Jan 14 and that's going to update the URL. I can also change the version of PHP and I would recommend using PHP 7. And finally, I have by default the option to create a new database, and that's typically what you'll do if you have a brand new site. Once I'm all done updating these options, I can pick finish. And right now what's happening is the dev desktop is downloading all the files for me onto my computer. And if I wanna actually see those files, I can click on this second link here, local code. So that's actually where my site files are located. Back in the dev desktop, I can click on the first link, which is actually going to take me to my site. So this is going to take me to that URL I saw earlier. And the path is going to be slash core slash install that PHP. So that's where the installation is actually going to take place. Uh, so here I'm going to walk through the install steps to set up my new Drupal 8 site. First off, I'm going to pick English as the language. I can always choose another language, um, and this is something I could change later. Uh, click Save and Continue. It's complaining about a PHP installation issue, but I'm just going to click Continue anyway. And now what's happening is it's going to install a whole set of core modules. And these are core modules that are part of the standard install of Drupal. So when you use Acquia Dev Desktop and you install a site from scratch, it's going to select for you to use something called the standard install, which uh, includes some really basic content types, some user roles, and it's also going to include some of the core modules that get enabled automatically. So that's what's happening now. You're going to see the names of all these modules. And some of these modules are things you might want to turn off later, like the comment module. Um, but what you'll get is a site that has some extra functionality provided by these core modules. Once all the installation's done, it's going to take you to this configure site step. And here's where you get to pick some of the variables that are going to be used in your site setup. 
First off, we can pick the site name. So that's going to be used in the banner of the site and in the title tag of the site. There's a site email address, which is used for uh, communications coming out from the site, like uh, emails that get sent to users when they sign up. You can pick a username. This is going to be used for the administration account. And this is the user account that you're going to be logged in as automatically when the install is all done. You're going to pick a password, which you should try and keep track of. And, uh, and then finally, you can pick some regional settings, which are used for the, the date time settings for the site. I'm going to skip over these for now. And finally, down here, update notifications. Uh, I would recommend keeping this turned on. This is going to show you when there are security updates. And it also um, installs the Update Manager module, which is going to allow you to install contributed modules through the UI. Uh, and then finally, receive email notifications. This is going to tell you by email when there is a security update for Core or Contrib. So I'll just click Save and Continue. And that's it, your site's all installed and you can get started with administering and setting up your Drupal site.